we thank you for sitting to my, still. My favorite topic of the night. Yeah. And that's Zelda. So, oh, Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening um, mm-hmm. has been rumored to be coming out on the 3DS for two Ever. years. <laughs> yes. And I, I wanted it really bad. Um, mm-hmm. Link's Awakening was my first Zelda game ever. It yes. was an absolute blast. It was my first time playing a game that required me to really think about what I was doing. Um, and I completely beat it. I-, I loved this game. I had it on the standard Game Boy. I picked it up again, the DX version on the Game Boy Color. Um, mm-hmm. And while we're not getting a 3DS version, we're getting an absolutely gorgeous looking Switch version of this game. And yes. it is so true to the original that it makes my head hurt. Um mm-hmm. Everything just looks perfect. Um, It's kind of controversial in its own way because the art style kind of looks like a toy box. Yeah. So everything looks real. Like it almost looks like a stop motion, like you're playing with your toys kind of thing. And Mm. some people love that. Some people hate it. It took me about five minutes to like look at it and say, this is great. I love it. I loved it immediately. Yeah. It's... It's based mostly off of A Link Between Worlds' visual style, but it takes it, like, two more steps further in that direction. So you kind of have, especially in the environmental stuff, Link looks kind of completely different. In a, like, and, I again, I like it. This yeah. toy box thing, it works. And it kind of fits. Link's Awakening was always a little surreal. Not like oh, Majora's sure. Mask surreal, but it's definitely, it's very dreamlike, huh? But I just... It fits. It works for it. Especially when you see, like, there's Goombas and Chain Chomps in here, too. Again, yeah. true to the original. Mort is in this game from Mario yeah. 2. There's, Yoshi's like... Yoshi's in it. There's characters from For the Frog, The Bell Tolls, that game that we still have never gotten localized. <laughs> but it's... Oh, I love this one. And it has, like, some of the best music. We're gonna get... We're gonna get Tall Tall Heights again. Yep. We're gonna get Ballad of the Windfish. Like, oh, It's so good. And get get your sword from the very beginning of the game. I love that one. Anyway, sorry. No, everything everything about this is great. Yeah. Um, again, the art style I think is unique. I'm excited to play this with my daughter. She's gonna love the look of it too. Um, yes. But Nintendo has always done that. And I remember back in the day, I was in high school, and when they first showed off the Wind Waker, like mm-hmm. all my Zelda friends were like, I'm never playing this. It's a kiddie game. It's a cartoon. And it's like, whatever, just deal with it. And then they played it and it mm-hmm. was just phenomenal. It's a great game. Like right. you can't judge the mechanics of the game on, you know, the art style. I know it looks different, right. but it's going to be great. And the anime intro, my God. That looked gorgeous. Like the hand-drawn flourishes yeah. and like Link's expressions. That was, yes, I love that. At first I thought it was going to be like they were going to announce an anime or a TV show or an animated yeah. movie. So I'm like, what are they doing here? Um, but it's exciting to see that because I wonder how much of that is going to be incorporated in the full game. Are we going to get right. like animated cutscenes that are completely anime inspired? Like that would be mm. great. I mean, we don't need that. There are some moments that that would work really well for too. Now that I'm like kind of thinking back and refreshing myself on Link's Awakening, yeah. which for the record, I'm probably going to replay Oh, like very soon. Oh yeah, no, I've got it. I think I've got it on 3DS. So the um, just like eShop for or virtual console, they yeah. never unfortunately released it. But yeah, I'm gonna play this again, and I'm gonna be ready for this one because they gave us what they just said 2019, yeah. right? No hard date. So if I had to guess, I'm gonna say like holiday yeah. is kind of the window for this one, which is okay. But that's I, this is a must-have. Completely agree. Um, yeah. I want to see more kind of remakes in this capacity, not just like I, you know, I seeing the original Zelda game like on Virtual Console in the um, mm-hmm. Nintendo Switch Online, it's cool. Right. But seeing something like this, like completely reimagining it, I just I love every second of it. So I'm really hoping to see even more stuff like this coming up in the future. Um, I'm, but I'm again, Link's really Awakening, glad. I feel like, is just the perfect entry point for this. Like if you're going to yes. remake Zelda games, do it on this one where I feel like a huge selection of Nintendo's fan base hasn't had the opportunity to play it. Right, that's exactly what I was getting at, is that this is the this is the perfect one to do this for. This is a game that not only deserves a remaster because it's so good, but it 
it gives it more exposure. Yeah. And it just, it fits the art style that they're going for. I would love to see this lead to like, see, but everyone's played this one and I'm going to say it anyway, is like a link to the past. Sure. Kind of touched up with the, like a middle ground between this and the link between world oh, style, sure, yeah. because the original Link's Awakening was developed around the same time as Link to the Past. I think it comes out like right before it. it's like yeah. 93, 94, but it's, oh my gosh, I would love to see him approach the older ones or give Zelda two another chance. Even uh... maybe, maybe not look, maybe not in this style, <laughs> but now they can fix all the stuff that makes that game inaccessible yeah. and highlight the stuff that makes it like really good. Like the combat, like fix the exploration side of it. But give it a chance. Okay. But Link's Awakening. Yeah. But Link's Awakening is the better choice. I would much have. I would much rather have this than yeah. like a Zelda two. Kind of. If they announced, hey, we're redoing Zelda two, and it wasn't like some kind of promo thing. Yeah. Like, hey, this is a bonus for ordering this on the eShop. Then I'd be a little more skeptical. But give me Link's Awakening. Like, give me that. What is it? There's like an animal town in this one. Yep. There, the uh, all these musical instruments. You go inside, like, oh, gosh, I love this one. I'm sorry. Because it makes the most <laughs> sense. And for yes. anybody on the fence out there, like, you're concerned about the art style, that it's kind of cutesy and toy box-ish, give it a shot. I mean, Nintendo yes. has a long track record of taking risks with design, and almost all of them have paid off. Um, right. Wind Waker was phenomenal. Yoshi's Woolly World was an absolute blast. Crafted yes. World, the demo was just amazing. Um, mm -hmm. Give it a shot. I think this is going to really, really surprise people. And I right. cannot wait for this one. This is going to be my biggest game of 2019. And it's shaping up to be that way. Like, there's really, there were other things announced during this direct and discussed, and I think we're going to touch on them in a little bit, but nothing felt like yes, this is the one yeah. more more than Zelda. And it's not just because, oh, we saved it for the end and we always anticipate something at the end of these directs, but it's just, it, it touches something at the core of every like Zelda fan and I think Nintendo fan because there's certainly a lot of overlap there. Yeah. But it's just, yes, give me this. And it looks, I'm going to say it again. I've said it like five times now. It looks so good. Yeah. I want it. Completely agree. Here's hoping mm -hmm. it's not delayed. Fingers crossed. All right, 2019. You're thinking holiday? I'm thinking holiday. Yeah, That's I'm thinking my best November. guess. November for the, sure. Uh, what's the latest release date we got out of the entire Direct? Like uh, August 30th, I yeah. think. So no sooner than that, absolutely. Yeah. I would say, yeah, November. I'm really hoping for a special edition, like Steelbook, Amiibo. I mean, I was going to say, how much would you love like a little Amiibo oh, of this link? Of In course you would buy it. Yeah, In a but there's... Jason, you buying an Amiibo is like <laughs> saying, oh, the sun's going to rise tomorrow. That's I'm true. saying like that would be an Amiibo that you you crave and you need, right? Um, Crave and need, maybe not. I mean, okay. I I own so many Link Amiibos. I, I'm looking right Fair now. Fair enough. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, ten Link Amiibos right now. And there's another one coming out with Young Link. Um, okay. But still... I, crave is a, a strong word. I'm going to say I, I definitely would get it. <laughs> what if you got, what if we got like a really big windfish amiibo? I'd buy that. Right? Yeah, I'd Sorry. get that. I, would, I love the windfish. It's so stupid looking. <laughs> oh man. It's going to be a right? good year though. Nintendo has really, really surprised me with that one. I was not, I was expecting Animal Crossing for the last like reveal, right. but this was 10 times better. Sorry, Lauren. Which... <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, sorry, everybody. I think yeah. Animal Crossing was the big expected game for this direct and nothing for it, which yeah. that just means that E3 is probably going to be really Animal Crossing centric, which I am 100% on board with. But yeah, no Animal Crossing. There was no, obviously no Metroid because we already got the news of yeah. that delay. Uh, no Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, that was uh, odd. Right. Luigi's Mansion is a game I'm expecting like what, maybe October-ish? Yeah, October makes the most sense. Yes, yeah, obviously. Like, sep late September to mid-October would be the range I'd yeah. expect for that one. Um, no, no word on anything Pikmin-related. We touched on that a little bit. Yeah. We were expecting either a Pikmin 3 Deluxe or some kind of weird news on Pikmin 4, which Miyamoto has said is a thing, but obviously nothing yet. Yeah. So that's the other thing. There were quite a few omissions from this Direct. Obviously, Nintendo can show us what they want it's their it's their show but 
it's it's gonna make this a really interesting next couple months as more comes out. I think I feel like we say that with every direct. It's like, okay, cool, but when's the when's the stuff I really want? That's true. Right. Well, but, hey. it's coming this year. That's all I can ask for. Right. Day one buy for yep. sure. Um, I'm really curious to see what the people watching this have to think about this. Like, do they like yeah. the style? Let me know your thoughts on this down below. I'm going to read the mm -hmm. comments. If you're on um, iTunes, obviously you can't do that. Go over to a Nintendo Wire YouTube and do it that way. But, but uh, know, what you, know what you can do if you're listening to this on iTunes is you can leave us a review. That really helps oh, yeah, out. that works. Yeah. That helps out the newscast a lot. It lets uh, it lets us get bumped up a little bit. It lets us know that we're doing a good job. And hey, if you have any criticisms, hey, send them our way. What were you Let doing? Let us know. Yeah, we'll Let do this know. better. We want you to enjoy. We want you to feel. We want you to experience our love for Nintendo. Very true.